is a former mayor of Memphis and Shelby County using his political connections and clout to harass his next door neighbor. The woman who lives next door to A.C. Wharton says that is exactly what's happening. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. She's so concerned, she actually filed a police report against Wharton. Local I team senior investigator Jenny DiPrizio talked to the woman and watched videos of what she calls intimidation. Karima McLeod bought her home on East Parkway South, just south of Cooper Young, just over a year ago. She rents out a couple of rooms on Airbnb. McLeod says there was never a problem until now. Her ring camera system recorded her claims of harassment. Imagine having a stream of city and county officials showing up one after another, week after week, during the month of July. I don't know who's getting ready to come knock on my door. At any given point in time. McLeod says the trouble began when one of her Airbnb guests had a party without her permission. AC Wharton showed up on my door the very next morning. Ring doorbell captured the exchange. So the people said they were paying or something. What's going on? And he proceeded to tell me that I didn't need to have parties, I didn't need to have events that this was a historic district and we don't do Airbnbs in historic districts. McLeod says before Wharton left, he said this. And also told me that he was going to make some calls, he was the former mayor, and that he planned on getting some laws changed. A few days later, the parade of city and county officials began showing up at her house. From repeated trips from Memphis City and Shelby County Code Enforcement to a Memphis fire inspector. To the Shelby County Health Department on a nuisance trash complaint. Oh, well, code enforcement just came by. An inspector came by yesterday. And nothing new was back there? No, well, we threw all this stuff away. The trash runs on Thursday. So, you know, there's nothing special that we can do to get rid of trash before the trash run. Records show the health department found nothing wrong. So at this point, I'm realizing, oh, so he made those phone calls. Oh, so he's calling his buddies because everyone who's talking to me is saying that this is coming from the top. The next week when city code enforcement came out, they cited her for three broken pickets on her fence and overgrown shrubbery near the street. But for McLeod, the final straw was finding out the Memphis Police Organized Crime Unit had been doing surveillance on her house for a couple of days under the claims. It was a suspected brothel. I'll run a drug thing with those of you. We got a complaint that came from our director from one of your neighbors around here saying the brothel was being run. In this what the f McCloud was furious. You were watching my house. That to me is is just so far beyond okay and and what is right. The officer told her the order came down from the director. <laughs> this is my not team, okay. My team does not do this kind of stuff. <laughs> McLeod calls the nine visits from at least six different city and county agencies, all in the span of three weeks, harassment and a huge waste of taxpayer resources. I think harassment. I think corruption. I think abuse of power. I think things that, you know, a normal Joe Blow, a normal Joe citizen, would never have been able to do, especially in the time frame that was allotted for it to be done. We went to Wharton's home, hoping to hear his side of the story. He refused to do an interview, but in a text said, my only comment is an outright denial of harassment and the use of political power. There is nothing in the city's short-term rental ordinance that prevents homes in historic districts or McLeod's home from being rented out. McLeod goes to environmental court this week on what she calls trumped-up charges. For the Local I team, I'm Jenny DiPrizio.